Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. And I am back today with another thrift store haul. So it has been a while now since my last haul. Frankly, I have no idea what number this is, but you guys will know because it'll be in the title. But it's been a while. So I've uh, not really been going to too many thrift stores lately. And when I do go, I've just not been finding much of anything. Well, the other day I happened to have the day off. And so I went to my local thrift store and they had a bunch of new new stuff. So it was really cool. So a bunch of DVDs today, including one book. So that's what we'll be looking at today. Before we get into that though, if you guys have a quick second, go ahead and hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. But with that said, let's not waste any time at all. Let's dive right into my latest entry in my thrift store haul series. So I'll go ahead and start with the book that I picked up. It's actually a short story anthology, and I don't do a ton of short story reading, but this one looks pretty cool. So this is Vintage Science Fiction, edited by Peter Haining. And the reason I was interested is because it's stories that inspired landmark films. So theoretically, all of the short stories in here actually were the inspiration for different movies. And I'll get to the table of contents. You can actually see some of the stories listed there. There's another page as well. But... Um, uh, it came from Outer Space, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Logan's Run, Star Trek The Motion Picture. So very interesting. So many things in here. And they do mention that the title of the short story may be changed from its original title to whatever the movie it inspired was. So that's on there or that's a thing too. But yeah, I don't know. It just look kind of cool. It's from like uh, 1995, 1996. Easy to read, which I love. And so, yeah, I figured I'd give it a shot, see if there's anything cool in it. Stephen King, Clive Barker, Ray Brett. I mean, look at the authors on there. That's, you know, awesome. So yeah, excited. I was able to find this one for 50 cents. All of these today, 50 cents each. Like that's a ridiculous deal. So the first one uh, today and the only book I grabbed, Vintage Science Fiction, edited by Peter Haining. All right, so let's jump over to the DVDs. And the first one is a Spielberg film that I've never seen before, but we have The Color Purple. I've heard amazing things about this movie, but I've never seen it. Of course, I read the book back when I was probably in elementary school, and I, I don't really remember it too much, but I remember there being like a purple crayon. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm intrigued to see if this one is any good or not. I guess I don't know what year this is, if I can find it. 1985, it looks like. So yeah, Steven Spielberg film for the collection. I mean, like, what's not to love there? So the first movie I grabbed today is the Spielberg film, The Color Purple. Here's a movie that I've always like picked up and put down at uh, Disc Replay when I was looking through their DVDs. I never ended up grabbing it though, but I'm not really sure why because it's something I'll probably enjoy. This is Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, and this is directed by Clint Eastwood. So I don't think I realized that until recently, and so that's why I wanted to definitely pick it up when I saw it for 50 cents at the thrift store. But great cast on this. John Cusack is in this, and uh, I don't know. It's it, I believe it's based on... Yeah, it's, it's based on, it's an adaptation. And I think it's a true crime event or a true crime story that the original book is. And so I'm very intrigued to see what it's all about. Hopefully it'll be enjoyable. And it is in a snapper case, which is always pretty cool to see. So had to grab this one. This is Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. So I literally didn't even realize who the director was on this until just now when I was taking a look at it, but never heard of this movie. It's called The Million Dollar Hotel. Has an awesome cast in this. Uh, Mila Jovovich is in this, Mel Gibson, and I'm not sure. Is that, that's not Jimmy. I don't know who he is. I recognize his face, but I guess I don't know his name. Tim Roth is in this, but yeah, it's directed by Vim Vendors though. Is that my saying that right? He's German. Wim Wenders, Vim Vendors. I think that's right. But I know Vendors, of course, from the Criterion Collection. I have a couple of films of his from, uh, you know, from that collection. And so, yeah, very excited to check this one out now and just see what it is. Uh, I guess like M Gibson plays this FBI agent who one of this one of these millionaires' sons ends up dead in this like flea bag hotel is what it says in the back, and he's trying to track down like what happened essentially. So I don't know. Sounds very intriguing, which is the reason I picked it up. And now that I know the director. Like, like super excited to see what this one is all about. Let me know if you guys know this one. If so, is it worth watching? Hopefully it'll be enjoyable. Great cast on it with an awesome director. So this is The Million Dollar Hotel. 
Here's another one that I've always wanted to see over the years, and I've like passed it up a couple times on DVD in the past, but for 50 cents, I guess that was low enough. I need to see this one. This is Winter's Bone, and this was, as far as I remember, really the movie that put Jennifer Lawrence on the map, and so that's the reason I want to see it. I love Jay Law. Like, she's excellent, and so I definitely want to check this one. I think she's like 15 or 16 in this movie, so it's one of her, as far again, as far as I remember, it's one of her first films and really her breakout, so yeah, very intrigued to see what this one is all about. And like, it just sounds interesting. I guess her father disappears and she's trying to like help keep her sister or brother in check or both, I guess, brother and sister in check and figure out what happened to their dad. So hopefully it'll be, it'll be a good one. I know it got a lot of, oh, I guess it won best picture at Sundance. So that's interesting. I didn't even realize that. So I'm sure I'll enjoy it when I get around to it. This is uh, Winter's Bone. This is another one that I've always seen over the years, but never really like grasped who directed it, who was the writer and all these other things. This is Timeline. This is actually a Richard Donner film and it's based off a Michael Crichton novel. So that's really cool. It has a really good cast in this as well. Paul Walker is in this and Gerard Butler too. So hopefully this one will be really cool. I guess like they're basically playing with time travel in this one, going back and forth through time. So, I mean, it sounds like a sci-fi fantasy film I can see my camera because whenever you get this color on one of the uh, DVD cover arts or blu-ray cover arts the picture just like goes in and out it's so annoying but anyway that's neither here nor there this is timeline and I'm very interested to check this one out let me know if you guys have seen this one as well excited to see timeline I vividly remember seeing this next one on the Blockbuster movie shelves all the time, and I was always interested, but I never ended up renting it to see it. And I actually, I had the remake for it, but I've heard the remake's terrible, and I think I actually ended up selling the remake, but either way, I'm excited to have this in the collection. This is Jacob's Ladder, and it's directed by the same director of a fatal attraction which i didn't realize that's kind of cool adrian lim and so yeah very intrigued to see what this one is all about i know it's like a psychological thriller and so because of that i'm in i've heard great things over the years so very happy to have jacob's ladder in the collection now one of the cooler finds of the day has to be this one here. I learned about this not that long ago. I can't even remember what it was that I was reading where I learned about it, but this looks awesome. This is called Mazes and Monsters, and it's a Tom Hanks film, but it's from the 80s, and it takes place during like the Satanic Panic, where uh, Dungeons and Dragons was taking off, and you had that mixed with the Satanic Panic, and so it's like a D&D style movie where that Satanic Panic, panic plays a part, and so very excited I was able to find this one and cannot wait to see what it's all about. I've heard that it's pretty interesting. So yeah, this was definitely like one of the coolest finds of the day. Mazes and Monsters. I cannot wait to finally see this one. This next one actually is available on Blu-ray in the Criterion Collection, but I've never seen it and I didn't own it. So I figured, you know what, for 50 cents, I'll buy it, see if I like it. And then if so, at the next Criterion sale, I can upgrade it. But this is The Big Chill and this is the 20, or I'm sorry, the 15th anniversary edition of this. So this is directed by Lawrence Kasdan. And frankly, I don't really know what it's about. All I know is that it's a big ensemble cast. That's pretty much all I know, and that's fine. Like, I don't need to know more going in. Again, it's a Criterion release, so that's good enough for me. But it has a really good cast. Uh, Glenn Close, Tom Berenger, Kevin Klein, Goldblum is in this, William Hurt. Like, an awesome cast on this. So, yeah, excited to check this out, and then hopefully I'll love it, and then I'll upgrade to that Criterion Blu-ray down the line. But let me know what you guys think of The Big Chill. Another really cool find. Honestly, I thought this one might go for a pretty penny on eBay, but it doesn't at all. It looks like it's pretty cheap. I've not seen this in the wild. This is Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. Maybe it's the... Is there a Blu-ray of this? Maybe there's a Blu-ray that goes for a little bit of money. But either way, yeah, this is obviously just exactly what it says. It's based on Agatha Christie's story of Murder on the Orient Express, which I have read. And I didn't... No, you know what? No, I think Murder on the Orient Express I did really enjoy. It was the other one, 12 Little Indians. Is that what it is? I think that's, that might be what it's called. That one I didn't like as much, but this one I enjoyed more. So yeah, excited to see the movie. I've never seen any film adaptation of... Like, I know there's a newer one. I've not seen that one either. So I don't know if I've seen any Agatha Christie film or uh, adaptation. So yeah, happy to have this in the collection. This is Murder on the Orient Express. 
Really cool horror film here. The last of the movies I found. Anthony Hopkins and Marsha Mason in Audrey Rose. Yeah, not seen this one either, but very excited to get to it. This is from 1977, and I think it's about a little creepy kid. So creepy kid movies are always fun. At least I have a good time with them. So yeah, interested to see what it's all about. And I love that Anthony Hopkins is in this as well. Very cool. John Beck in here too. So yeah, hopefully this will be an enjoyable one when I get around to it. Should this be a Halloween watch for me this year? Let me know what you guys think about Audrey Rose. But yeah, happy to have it in the collection. This is Audrey Rose. And then last but not least is actually a TV series, which again was 50 cents and best yet, it's a complete series. We have Father Dowling Mysteries, the complete series. Now, my mom absolutely loves this show. So frankly, it's probably going to end up in her possession at some point. But yeah, I remember watching this all the time with my mom because she was such a big fan of it. And so yeah, I've considered buying this for her over the years because the complete series is like less than 20 bucks on Amazon. But again, 50 cents. You can't beat that. And the discs are in pretty good shape. So yeah, all 43 episodes of this show. I had always had a good time with this one. So I don't know if this is one like I re necessarily need to go back and revisit, which is why I say that it'll probably end up with my mom. But I do want to get this off of here anyway, just because that annoys me. But either way, yeah, very happy I was able to find this. Like such a cool find for 50 cents. Like I love it. So the complete series of Father Dowling Mysteries is going to wrap up today's thrift store haul. All right, so not my biggest thrift store haul ever, but all of these in one stop, I think, is pretty darn amazing. I couldn't believe how many DVDs they had at the store that day. I, it was really cool. They That one location, for whatever reason, always is the best one to go to for new DVDs. Not too much on um, Blu-rays, and frankly, not too much on the book side of things either, but for whatever reason, they just get a ton of really good movies in, and so it was really fun going through there. I actually bought another, another stack in order to flip because I've been doing a little bit more eBay recently trying to just purge out the collection and earn a little bit more money to put towards new media. So yeah, it was a, it was a really good day. Very excited to get back to that one in the coming weeks here. But I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below. It's been a while. So have you found anything at your thrift stores lately? I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. And let me know what from this stack is awesome and I should put toward the top of my list. Is the big show worth it? Is, it, is that one I'm going to want to upgrade to the Criterion Blu-ray after I watch it? Let me know what you think about that and anything else down in the comments. I appreciate any and all support down there. So thanks so much for that. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this one, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. And like I always say, I don't just talk movies or books. I talk all things media, books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time.